Okay, so I have finished stitching. I just do a basic stitch. I don't do anything fancy, just pull it on over. So what we're gonna do now is like I said, since there is two color yarns, it makes it kind of hard. So I just get myself a nice good amount of the yarn before I do anything crazy. And what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna wrap it. I think the technical term is e-wrap. And that's all I do. I just e-wrap. Because it's just simple, easy, basic. It's a nice little stress reliever when you come home. You can just do this. Stir these on. See how quick it's going? It's just like boom, boom, boom. I'll make another video too, showing on how to actually cast on everything. Um, if, how, if having any issues with the pegs, because it can be kind of hard. I am just doing the basic. This is pearl, basic. I think it's pearl stitch. I just, or knit. I, it's called the e-stitch actually, just e-wrap. Just e-wrapping it, e-stitch. So it's just basic. Easy, easy, easy. So, as you see, just using my, using my yarn. The double yarn is always so much fun, especially when it's a thicker yarn. It makes that extra fluffiness, but at the same time, it makes it also just a little, always just makes it a little harder. Especially on the wrist and on the fingers. You'll come up with your own technique as well. And when I'm when I'm pro when I am knitting over it, I usually hold it towards me because it makes it easier. Sometimes it makes it easier on it on a table. Once it starts getting a little bit bigger, it does come to be a little bit more of a nuisance, but that that comes in time right now, you know, it's just a, just a little guy, just a little one. So it has time to grow. Great thing about this though, it does take off pretty quick. Once you start really putting some hours into it, it just starts growing. And you will have a full size blanket before you know it. And then before you know it, you'll be going to your yarn store and you'll be buying out all of the baby yarn like this and then making baby blankets for everybody and you'll be waiting for somebody to have a baby or you'll just have them in stock so when someone does have a baby or someone is you hear someone has a baby shower coming up you'll be like oh i have a baby blanket i can you can uh you can have one I made or um, something. You can usually do that. I usually sell mine to people. Uh, I sell most of my baby blankets and I give mine away as gifts. So, fair, fair, right there, right back and forth. The ones I do sell, I just take a gift card to the place where I make the yarn, where I buy my yarn, and I just buy more yarn. Kind of makes it easier that way. So, as everybody, as you can see, everything's on. Double check everything. So, as you see, I'm kind of weird. I do mine like this just to make sure it's on there nice and good. Good and tight. I don't want any. As you can see, it's on there. Good and tight. Nice and tight on there. See? Not going anywhere. So, now, here's the tricky part. This is the tricky part. The first one is always so hard. Sometimes what I do, I just take one color and flip it. And take that light lavender and flip it. And you just go about your way. See how I just pull it over? That's all I do. I don't do nothing fancy, nothing else, and nothing, I do nothing else. This is all I do. 
just I'm gonna do this just to get a nice little loose, get a little looser, and pull on over. Pull over. I have some other cool color ones I'll show you for right now. Work on the cotton candy one. So go ahead. And then what I do before I get too far is I pull them down. The reason I do that is it just seems like it makes it a little bit easier. I don't know if it actually does, but for me, it feels like it. So then I just pull it down and voila. Let's see how it's going. Alright, so go ahead. Continue. Just doing the basic little stitch here all the way to the end. And then we will wrap again and do it again. So we'll do this until you get to your desired length and then we'll cast off. I will do a video on how to cast off on this. But first we have to get to our desired length. That will be a little bit for me. As you see, I am just in the mid part of this. So we will get working on this and I'll show you how to cast off later on. Alrighty.